the Red Sea protests, sports news, world and entertainment headlines. All of this is up next on the GHS Reporter. In a world where students need their news, one news team dares to bring it to you every advisory. With Kevin Thomas, Max Collins, Kate Bender and Evan Cobb, Paige Taylor, Brendan Phillips, Jesse Feynman, Sam Gorenstein. Live from room 300, you're watching The GHS Reporter. Good morning and welcome to The GHS Reporter. I'm Kevin Thomas. And I'm Brennan Phillips. Most, if not all here at GHS, know of the Red Sea, a group of fanatics of Gildewan sports teams. However, recently, the group staged a protest regarding a letter sent home with report cards. Max Collins went to find out more. Last Tuesday night, GHS hosted Catholic Central High School in the home opener for the boys' varsity basketball season. Over 200 Gilwin students were in attendance, as per usual, but on this night, there was no visible or audible sign of the Red Sea. The Red Sea isn't very red tonight. Why is that? Um, all the students were given this letter with the report cards. It's basically saying if we cheer poorly, we're going to be suspended. And on the back, it gave us all this stuff what cheering poorly is. And basically, it takes away all the fun at the game. We can't, we can't really do anything anymore. So we're sitting out tonight. The Red Sea is silent. We're calling it the, the Dead Sea, if you will. What do you think the Red Sea means to the school and to the team out here? I think the Red Sea is everything. You know, it brings enthusiasm. It makes the players play better. And if with, without the Red Sea, you know, the game isn't exciting. Players won't play to their, uh, their prime, and it's, it's not fun. What do you think the administration will do about this civil disobedience? I'm hoping the administration will give us some slack. You know, we, we're pretty respectful to them, and they're pretty respectful to us. But this just, you know, this got a lot of kids angry and upset, and we're hoping that we can just have some fun out here. We all look forward to the return of the Red Sea at Averill Park this Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. The Dutchman crushed Catholic Central 84-49 to to start off the season. This is Max Collins for the GHS Reporter. Colonel, Lieutenant Kenner ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Objection. Kenner to do. And when it went bad, all, you on. cut these guys loose. You had marks and sign going That's enough. You got the law. You go or You're in contempt. You. Colonel Jessup, did you order the code red? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Handle the truth. Join Gildal in mock trial, December 9th, room 708, after school. Recently, a teenager in Glens Falls was accused of stealing his grandmother's debit card then going on a Black Friday shopping spree. 16-year-old Stephen Graves was said to have taken out hundreds of dollars. Both teenagers are in Warren County Jail and are facing a number of charges. Police say 17-year-old Khalid Timmons of 3rd Street was shot in the face Friday night on Lark Street and Clinton Avenue. Someone fired a gunshot and caused several small puncture wounds to the right side of his face, neck, and head. Timmons was taken to Albany Medical Center for treatment. That's all for today's headlines. Yesterday in the NFL, the Giants improved to 11-1 in beating the Redskins 23-7. Eli Manning threw for 305 yards with one touchdown and one interception. The Jets fell to the Broncos 34-17. Jay Cutler threw for 357 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. And the Packers lost to the Panthers 35-31. D'Angelo Williams rushed for four touchdowns and 72 yards for the Panthers. And in college football, Oklahoma advanced past Texas in the BCS rankings, claiming the Big 12 South title. Oklahoma won over the weekend 61-41, beating Oklahoma State, while Texas also won 49-9 over Texas A&M. Remaining number one in the rankings was Alabama, who beat Auburn 36-0. That's all for today's sports, now over to Kevin. Max Collins brings you an interview with Eric Reimer about student government and their upcoming events. Hello, GHS. I'm here with Eric Reimer of Student Government. I have some questions for him. Student Government declared last month that it would be bringing big changes to school. This would help represent the student better, body better and unite our school. How is that progressing in your view? Well, recently we had our first club council meeting, which was a resounding success. At the meeting, we decided that um, we're going to be soon creating a school-wide community calendar that will feature all school events, such as basketball games, um, club events, club meetings, and everything, so that all students have one place where they can look at 
for school events instead of having all these posters everywhere and such. And so it's all organized in one orderly place. Cool. Uh, what about community involvement? Well, um, two projects that we'll be working on are the Adopt a Family project and also the Care Packages for Soldiers program. Um, for the Adopt a Family project, we're going to be raising money to help uh, families that don't have the financial means to um, give gifts to each other for the holiday season. And so this will help them uh, still celebrate the holiday season. And um, as for our other project, the Care Packages for Soldiers, we're going to be um, sending packages over to our brave men and women overseas who are fighting for our freedom, and um, including some people from our school who have now enlisted in the various armed, for armed forces. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be announcing more details about this project very soon. I await them. And uh, I heard some rumblings about Student Senate. Now, could you explain that for me? All right, yeah. Well, um, right now we're also working on Student Senate. And so nominations are still taking place. So submit them as soon as you can. And. Um, Basically, this will be a body of advisors to help represent the students from each class and the student body, and also basically work with student interests. And um, so we'll be having elections for that around mid-December, probably. Do you have any other announcements? Well, I'd just like to wish everybody a good holiday season and to uh, enjoy the little gas prices while they still last. All so. right. Cool. Thank you, Eric Reimer of Student Government. This is Max Collins for the GHS Reporter. All right. Heidi Montag and Spencer Pratt, famous couple from MTV's The Hills, recently held a wedding ceremony near Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. They acknowledged Wednesday that the ceremony was symbolic and not legally binding. The couple has not yet had set a date for when they will make the vows official. In other news, best-selling rappers T.I. and Young Jeezy volunteered to serve Thanksgiving dinner at Turner Field in Atlanta, Georgia. The event, which fed, fed around 22,000 people, was organized by Hosea Fade and the Hungry and Homeless. This uh, annual event I is the city's largest Thanksgiving dinner. That's all for your entertainment news. And we hope you all out there had a great Thanksgiving yourselves. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Brendan Phillips. And I'm Kevin Thomas. Stay tuned for your announcements. And have a great day.